Well, hello, Lighthouse Baptist Church. Good to be with you today. We decided to send this video out instead of a post on our web page and our Facebook page. But nonetheless, uh, it's good to be with you. It's been awfully quiet around here. It's different. You know, we never took church for granted. But now in these unprecedented times, we certainly learn to appreciate church and what we have with one another, the love that we have for one another, the God that we serve. We praise the Lord for that. As I was listening to President Trump and Vice President Pence yesterday, regardless of, of the, the facts and the complete facts of this, President Trump did say that uh, coming into this, uh, the, the shelves were empty. In other words, America was not prepared uh, for a, a calamity like this, a crisis like this. And so, as he mentioned this, Vice President Pence was beginning to say how corporations are getting involved. And I thought, now is the time to say it. Now is the time to say it. But I knew he couldn't say it. So I'll say it for him. Socialism doesn't work. Communism doesn't work. Capitalism does. The free enterprise system does that we have here in America. Because companies are getting young. The government would, would never be able to uh, make all these supplies. We're, we're short of the, the PPE, the personal protective equipment, and respirators and things. And so mass producing these things. I was reminded in Psalm 50, where the psalmist says in Psalm 50, beginning in verse number 10, for every beast of the forest is mine and the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the fowls of the mountains and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine and the fullness thereof. While eat, will I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. You see, in this crisis, God's shells are never empty. You know, with the immense pressure upon our medical personnel, immense pressure. My my niece, Alexandra, we texted one another and she said, I asked her, how's it going? She's a nurse. She's working in the hospital. She's saying they're constantly coming in. Uh, patients are constantly coming in. They're worried. They're worried about this influx being overwhelming in a couple of weeks. Isn't that the case with so many? You can imagine what's taking place in, in New York. But let's not forget something. They're small business owners. They're suffering, not just the medical field. There's people who are worried about their retirement. There's people who are concerned about their life savings, legitimate concerns. But let's remember, no matter who you are, God says, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. Let's remember something, please. We're being inundated. Coronavirus, coronavirus, COVID-19. Every minute. Let's not forget something. This is not the uh, Marburg virus. Thank you, Bethany Strait. 88% fatality rate. This is not Ebola. Most of the people, most of the people infected with coronavirus do survive. A message, please, a very personal message now. Thank you for those of you who are joining us who are, who are not members of Lighthouse Baptist Church. We trust we can be an encouragement to you. And uh, a message to Lighthouse Baptist Church, January and February. Uh, we're lean months for us financially. We were under budget uh, $500 a week average. 
So coming in now uh, to March and April, we knew that uh, things were tough. Remember, we said we do not want to miss, and we haven't, miss a payment uh, to our, our missionaries who are serving the Lord across this globe here in, in, in New England as well. We don't miss it. But we know that God's shelves are not empty. We have the answer for this. We could take care of this problem with, with, the, with the ties being down, our offerings being down. We have the answer to this. If God's people would just simply do what God's people need to do. If, 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 the, if the churchgoers, the regular tenders, or attenders of Christians that are attending our, our churches, our church specifically, Miles Baptist Church, would just simply give as God would have them to give and be taken care of. See, we we can take care of this problem. We don't need to call upon a miracle. People need to call upon a miracle, in some cases, to be healed from coronavirus. But nonetheless, nonetheless, we know that that uh, this is our answer. Let's let's make sure we do the right thing. Brother Nick Street is is working on this, and he is um, uh, working on getting um, for us to be able to uh, pay online, uh, give online. We thank the Lord for that. And as you're sending your monies in, thank you very much. Also, I want you to know that uh, we're so thankful for Bobby McKeever and and for uh, Brother McKeever and Brother Mike Hoxie. Uh, we're able to now uh, live stream through YouTube. And so very simply, instead of going through Facebook that we did in the last two services, um, tap in, if you would, please, to to um, uh, lbcwaterbury.com. And also, uh, there, is a, there is a download, there is a... There is a um, uh, track, a digital track by Dr. Paul Chapel, and we've placed that on our Facebook page. We've placed that also on our on our website, and um, this is for people uh, who are not saved to see this, see the answer. Uh, there's a cure. Um, uh, I don't remember the exact title of this, but it's very catchy. Uh, um, but nonetheless, if you would consider, please, we want to get you this and send this uh, to you, the link to you on your phones. And so you can in turn send it out to your friends, your loved ones who are not saved. Also inviting them uh, to the services. So 1030, or, uh, tomorrow 1030, uh, One Pearl of Great Price is the title of the 1030 message. And then uh, Pastor G. Uh, he'll be preaching Sunday night at the six o'clock service. Fear versus faith. Hope you'll join us for those. You know, there's a lot of good things still taking place in America. There's still a lot of good things taking place in this world. Remember, the greatest thing is people are surviving from the coronavirus. And also, people are seeing that they need to put their faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ because he's the answer. So as we continue on, as we pray, as we continue on as a church family in our concerns, we put our trust and our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, enjoy life. There's, there's a lot to enjoy. There's a lot for us to, there's a lot to see the light side or 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 uh, take the lighter approach of things. I was looking at a 2007 Reader's Digest and on the back, I want you to see this, please. So the lighter side, not being so tense, uh, so upset. There's a lot of good things that we can be thankful to God for and everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. But notice this, if you would, please. Let me move out of the way here. I'll show you this. All right, so this is our America. See a pain. And this is called Odd Man Out. 
<laughs> no, that's true, huh? That's odd man out. Get a little closer here. Look closely on that. You see that? There you have it. Now, whatever side of the spectrum that you're on, you can enjoy that. You can smile at this. Now, Pastor G, he's going to be rummaging through my office trying to find this and, and trying to, uh, to burn this. On the other token, on the, on the other hand, Brother Rob Russo is going to be at the door guarding it. In fact, Brother Rob Russo is going to want to change the lock. But no, he'll get Frank De Silva to change the lock. You're welcome, Frank. You're welcome, Margaret. <laughs> hey, see you tomorrow, or you'll see me tomorrow. 10.30 service. See you tomorrow. 6 o'clock service. Lord bless you. Glad that you were able to join me today.